Hey everybody, Scott here for the Digital Guitar Playground. It's Tuesday, and today we are picking up on the ERT headless, the GW2. Um, did some things with it yesterday. Sanded off the, uh, the adhesive and all the just nastiness that was on the top from the leftover from the last video of uh, scraping off the uh, that uh, burled maple veneer. Eh, piece of cake, really. It took about an hour. Um, today, you're going to see the sanding and the, the application of the first coat of true oil. And in between each coat, and I consider a coat to be three passes, and a pass is you wipe it down, wipe off excess, let it sit for an hour, come back, do another pass, another hour. Three passes equal a coat to me because that's the way it is with painting guitars. So, and I will uh, reveal how the top looks after, after. So, want to see? Okay, here I am in the basement again, gonna do some sanding. I have my random orbital sander, and I'm gonna start with 100 grit, then 220, 320. I need some 400 and maybe some 600. I don't have any of that here, so I'm gonna have to go to uh, Sutherland Lumber tomorrow after I do this, because it's kind of late in the day on Saturday right now. So it'll have to wait till tomorrow, but I'll get the, uh, hopefully all of this cleaned up so it looks like, you know, the wood. I'm going to let you uh, watch for a bit while I rock out with some headphones on. Enjoy. True oil decided against the shellac because I just wanted more of a an oil-based simple wipe on wipe off Daniel Sung kind of situation. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Ta-da! Light coat number one. I'm going to do uh, two or three of these a day and then follow that with, uh, where's my pad? My abrasive pad, cut this into small pieces and go over the finish. And then uh, uh, the next day, blah, blah, blah. So uh, leave this to dry for like an hour, hour and a half, because I'm doing very light coats. And then uh, come back, do some more, continue this uh, probably through the rest of, nah, probably not the rest of the week, but uh, maybe, you know, three of these passes, I would, uh, I would consider a coat to be each one of these passes. So a coat a day for the next three days, then let it sit for another three days, 
and then uh, hit it back with this. Should be good to go. Uh, and then I'm going to, you know, if I get anything in the cavities, uh, which I doubt because I'm using such thin coats, um, I will just sand those bits because I'm going to uh, fill all of the cavities with uh, the copper uh, foil tape for shielding and then, you know, new pickups, blah, blah, blah. So stuff's happening. We're getting there. Baby steps. Taking my time. No hurry. <music> There you go, everybody. Good time refinishing fun. <gasps> Want to see? Ta-da! This is just after one coat. And you can tell that uh, it needs, you know, in some spots, it's got some flat spots. Excuse me, I have a sesame seed stuck in my teeth. Um, a couple flat spots, but, you know, building up of the, uh, the true oil will take care of that. And... It's looking and feeling really good, and the color is super cool. It's not quite here yet. I don't know if it'll ever get to there. They may have used, who knows what they used to finish this. But this gets darker the more you use it. Uh, True Oil tends to darken the finish of whatever you're using. So, we are getting there. Uh, sadly, I have to report that I'm going to be stuck with this bridge because you cannot find a an inexpensive aftermarket bridge that doesn't require routing. This one, you know, for, for all its uh, faults, uh, it's still a stable bridge, um, but I just don't want to do any routing on this one. I'm not set up for it here. I don't even have a router. Although, let me tell you, I am considering purchasing one to do some binding on some of these guitars. I might pick up some more of these things, put some binding on some of them, do some finishes up oh, there goes the space heater uh because they are so inexpensive and it would be nice to be able to put some of these out into the world you know i don't want to keep them for myself i don't need 15 of these guitars but it would be fun to do fun finishes on them like this put some binding on them you know maybe swap out a bridge if i can find one that's inexpensive there's a hip shot but it's six hundred dollars you are shitting me Oh, anyway, I will be back on Friday with the final video of the finishing process. And it's really just going to be a reveal of the whole thing because you don't need to see me wiping on wiping on uh, true oil and then, you know, hitting, making it, hitting, knocking it down with the, uh, you know, the scouring pad. You don't need to see that. You'll see a little bit of that in today's video. So enjoy. Or you already saw. Why are you trying to confuse me, people? Shit. So, I will be back on Friday for the final finish video. Uh, finish, not finished, as in the project, just the finish. I haven't even ordered the pickups yet. Here's the problem. my uh, All of my soldering gears in California. California. It's west. Uh, yeah, it's in the, the Y&T workbox. So, I'm going to have to bring it back with me after next weekend's Y&T gigs. Uh... They are, they are on they are, they're on for them, so the 25th and the 26th in Tracy, California, and Santa Cruz are happening next weekend. So come on out, say hi if, you, you know, if you're know at the show. I'll be there. Uh, yeah, pickups are going to be coming. I'm going to order those this week. Also pots and switch. So good times. Have a good week. I will see you on Friday. And until then, rock on.